and it structures everything. That's awesome. So the key to this one is keeping your hips pointed in one direction and making your torso do all the work. So you're using your core to turn. Yeah, when you do it without anything locking your hips in, you kind of turn your hips. Nothing's yeah. moving. Yeah. And this locks it in, so you're just working here. Because you get, you're cheating it when you turn it here. Sure. Okay, legs are stabilizing. This is what they call about mind muscle connection and core. Look at his legs. His legs are, have a solid position. If he didn't, wasn't gripping the floor, applying pressure to his back, it almost helps his core stay in that position, enabling him to use his upper body. Are you sucking in your abs right now? Shit, yeah. I exhale on the way out. He exhales on the way out. So just as you're lifting over there, we exhale coming down. This way is if you're lifting. So lift and then resist on the way back. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and do that on the other side as well. Great. Sets of? So I grab with my, my front hand, that's the way I like to do it. You're not pushing or pulling with your arm. Sure. You're just using it to stabilize and then turn. So like a baseball. Uh, like a baseball bat. Or any sport that you find. Yeah. So his left arm is guiding him, the right arm is doing most of the stationary work while the core is what's actually moving the weight. I don't know if I worded that right. Yeah. You see that striation in the top chest? Lift your chin back, buddy. No, nope, just lift it back so we can see that light. Watch that chest come across. Boom! Nice. Something about being pre-contest, how hard you train. Yeah.